obviously what a special leader gets comfortable with the group of positions. He's got a very short list of people that he'll call, you know. So how do you, how do you, uh, besides just playing out live and discuss that, but how do you even make yourself known to these people who are well, I, I mean, it's a combination of things, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we, I mean, when I first started doing sessions, there was one phone in the studio lobby, and it was like a race between songs to get out and check your machine at home with your code and everything, you know, to see, and, and you know, you had the rest of the day to get back to somebody, maybe even the next day, whereas now it's like, you know, it's even people are, I, I got booked on a session using text. I didn't even know who I was working for until I got to the studio because I didn't rec normally I, re I recognize a lot of phone numbers, but it was like, okay, I just confirmed the next night before. Okay, see you tomorrow at wherever you are, you know, I'll see you there. Uh, would you like a friend? Let's, you know, then, yeah. it's Charles Benson. No! question because I think it just might, you can, you can put this to bed if you want. But you came up, when you started playing sessions, there was a group of musicians that you knew better than the others. Right. There were some that were older and then some that were younger. Yeah. And I think what's going to happen is you're going to find your own group of people 